Hey guys, Mark Lyon here, Lion Horses today. I want to show you a little tip or maybe a couple, three tips on altering your horse. And so, you know, most of us, we deal with horses that are, they're, they're very gentle, they're very quiet, they're used to it. In fact, you could send anybody with almost no horse experience out to the pasture, out to the field or to their pen, and they could catch them. And the halter might be upside down and backwards when they brought the horse in, but the horse would get caught and you could, you could lead it. So, you know, they're pretty gentle, they're pretty forgiving. They kind of figure out what's going on and, you know, like I say, they're, they're pretty willing to, to get caught. Um, so I see, because of that, I see a lot of people catch horses and they halter horses in a way that if something were to happen, it's going to make it hard for them to not get run over or, or maybe it turned out uh, for the best. So um, what I see a lot of times is people will halter the horse like this. So they'll come up to the horse and they'll, they'll kind of get underneath the horse and the horse will kind of have his head up a little bit and they'll flick this rope around here like this. Okay, and then they'll then they'll catch it and then they'll they'll do it. And and or or the other one I've seen is this one, where they'll kinda go like this and then they'll they'll do it. Okay. So I normally don't like doing it that way because when you're in that position like this, it's hard for you to move. If the horse were to step forward, he'd knock you off balance, so you'd probably fall down because you're your center of balance in your weight distribution on your feet isn't really good. You're not in a position where you can athletically move uh, forward or backward or out of the way. So, uh, and then the other thing is, is when you swing that over, that, that tail, that crown piece is gonna kind of slap him in the neck a little bit. And a lot of times that will, on a sensitive horse, make him, make him jump a little bit. Another thing is, is maybe some other horses are, are around and they're coming to see what's going on and so they'll come up and that horse will get a little worried, especially if he's lower on the fecking order and then he'll kind of run into you a little bit and knock you over and step on you and anyway, it's just not good. So how I halter a horse is when I come up, first of all, I have my, my halter all organized, my lead rope over my arm and when I come up here, I kind of touch him with that crown piece and then I take that crown piece over the top and I just give him a little bit of a hug. I just kind of bring my arms around him and I, I take that crown piece and I grab it from that side and I just bring it over the top, All right? So that way you're balanced on your feet. So you don't have to be worried about leaning back and, and if the horse moves forward a little bit, you can go with him. If he moves back, you can go with him. If he moves away from you a little bit, you can go with him. If he moves into you, you can kind of block him here and keep yourself from getting your toes stepped on. And then once I have him here, then I just take that, scoop his nose up. Put it on there like that. Anyway, just a little little tip I thought you guys might like to see. And uh, like I say, uh, most of the time you're not gonna have to worry about it, but for those horses that are a little bit more sensitive and they're a little bit harder to catch, you have to kind of have a little feel and a little timing and, and uh, you have to be kind of a little bit handy. So. Anyway, when I watch somebody catch a horse, I can always tell how many young horses they've worked with or how many horses that weren't really quiet they've worked with because of how they, how they go to approach one and, and halter one. So anyway, remember, we're all trying to be the person our horse deserves and hope this tip helps.